Hey, Dad, where are my slippers? Ah, here they are. You know, polar bears don't have any problem keeping warm like we do. They're equipped with fur and layers of fat so they can swim and hunt in icy cold arctic waters. They can even stay underwater for as long as two minutes and have been known to swim for 200 miles in a single stretch. One female polar bear was tracked swimming for nine days straight. She deserves a medal. Sometimes you can see polar bears going for a ride on the ice. As they float along, they can smell their prey, seals, that are swimming beneath. It's funny because we think of polar bears as being white, but their fur is actually transparent. How cool is that? They totally blend into their surroundings. Oh, and did you know that polar bears have belly buttons? I wonder if they get lint trapped in there too. But because of global warming, more and more of the Arctic ice is starting to melt and polar bears may disappear along with it. Right now, there are about 25,000 polar bears living in the Arctic region. Researchers predict that in 50 years, two-thirds of them will be gone. Not just because of global warming, but also because of oil drilling, pollution, and hunting. Polar bears are actually considered marine mammals, like seals and whales, because they are dependent on the sea for their food. They're a crucial part of the Arctic ecosystem. The health of their population indicates the health of the entire ecosystem, good or bad. Many of the 21,000 species who live in the Arctic would be affected by the loss of the polar bear. But the good news is that we can do things, like right this minute, that will help save the polar bears in a very real way. You don't even need to leave your house to do it. Saving energy and protecting the environment can help slow down and maybe even stop global warming. My friends and I started a club called the Screamin' Greenies, where we share ideas, do community projects, and take a pledge to do whatever we can to help save the planet and the polar bears. Last week, we made a polar bear cookbook to sell. All of the money we raise will go towards a foundation that's helping to save the polar bears. No, we aren't cooking polar bears, or even eating like polar bears. Walrus pizza and Norwal fries, anyone? <laughs> It's all about choosing healthy foods that are locally grown, minimally processed, and don't require a lot of energy to cook. Now, I have to admit that I'm not much of a cook, but I do love to draw. I call this one, Polar Bear in a Snowstorm. <laughs> I know, I know, but I couldn't help it. 